Hey everyone, my name is Jessica and I'm here with Dr. Bacon for our weekly Breakfast with Bacon. And this week's session I am personally very excited about. I'm very passionate about children and children's health and then we're going to talk about kids today. Yeah. And when it comes to stress in children, a lot of times children don't know how to express stress, right? Whether they can't speak yet or developmentally, they're just not there to process emotions properly. You might see stress in the form of fear and anxiety or sleeplessness or they kind of feel restless or frustration, you know, outbursts. There are a lot of ways that kids express stress that to us just look like misbehavior, right? And so what we want to talk about is how do we recognize as parents what a stress response looks like in our children yeah. and then what do we do about that? Well, I think it starts right, I mean, you, you nailed it pretty much. Um, it's really trying to figure out what are these responses. Mm -hmm. right. So if your child's not sleeping, they may be depleted in minerals. If, you know, mm -hmm. if they're, you know, have an outburst, there may be some liver deficiencies or things right. like that. What I am really more moved toward is really understanding the parents. You guys know when there's things wrong with your children. Yeah. I mean, that's just yeah. a gut feeling that you have. You yeah. know who that is. And that you'll take them to the pediatrician, you'll take them somewhere and they'll just say, it's normal. They'll grow out of it or it's okay. What we want to do is really understand. We want you guys to know that maybe it's not just something they'll grow out of. Maybe there's something we can start with some superfoods or some nutrition or some chiropractic because here's what's really brilliant. Yeah. Guys, understand now. Proprioceptive is this huge word that talks about movement and movement deficiencies. Mm -hmm. We're seeing now that you have to have that proprioception in the body, in the neck, in the spine, in the movement, yeah. in the arms and legs to really help develop and grow the hippocampus and the frontal lobes of the brain yeah. to really kind of drive that growth and development. If we don't and we're, you know, they're sedentary, they're locked down, they don't feel like they move a bunch, guess what? We're going to be right. depleted in that. Yeah, yeah, they're not going to have the same signals. In fact, we had a lady in the other day mm -hmm. that was coming in. We had a little 14-year-old baseball player. He had some restriction in his arm. We adjusted him. And all he did was laugh and giggle. Mm -hmm. And the I mom was like, oh, my, yeah, the mom was like, oh, I think you're, he's acting drunk. And it's not like he's drinking. It's more what? We're actually activating areas in his brain mm -hmm. that have been suppressed and not moving well. And what's crazy is that he was a different kid. When he came in, yeah. pretty quiet, you know, answered yeah. questions very simply. But at the end, he was very outgoing and yeah. he was lively and he was moving. And yeah. that's the power of the adjustment. Yeah. And that's what's neat. Yeah. So we really don't want to focus too much on because you can get chiropractic anywhere. In fact, we would yeah. tell you. Find a chiropractor that does kids and pediatrics and things like that. We see, like we said, we see all ages of children, all the way up to big adult children that come in here. And trust me, they giggle too. So the idea is really to understand what we can do to help support our children. We want to build a movement to help people get healthy yes, and well. We and so to us, it's more about understanding that now we can't just, we can't forget about the foods and nutrition too. The micronutrients are so important for these children. We think they're actually being starved out there. And like I'm telling you, parents, you know you feel it. You can tell if the children is not do or the child's not doing what he's supposed to. It's not just a behavioral issue. Mm -hmm. There may be other things that the child just doesn't know how to tell you. Mm -hmm. I have this problem. Yes, for sure. Does that sure. make sense? So and we can surely help you to determine what those are. Yeah. You know, There's a bunch of tests we can do. Yeah. We hair analysis. There's other things, Lots and it's so it. simple to run, run through this. And I think that's really important. To just know that there's a place you can go to ask questions. In fact, we do this virtually. Jessica, like I said, loves yeah. to do this stuff. I love to work on the kids. So if you have a question or you want more information, like it, give us a thumbs up, share it with your other moms and friends because we want a movement to happen. We want you parents out there to be supported and understand that there's really? more out, more options out there than just, here, take this drug. Here, take this uh, you know, suppression. Just do what you can. I want you to know, understanding this, these things can be changed if we give them the right nutrients. Yeah, that's so, their options. Yeah, they're definitely. So we hope you guys enjoyed this breakfast with bacon. We'll talk to you guys again soon, and uh, look forward to seeing you. Thanks.